Hi, this is Athena Gatmeyer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crystal Empowerment. This channel is all about crystals for awakening, ascension, meditation, sacred geometry, and so much more. I even talk about twin flames. So if you're interested in any of these topics, you may want to consider subscribing. So this video is all about a crystal called Lepidolite. And uh, I love this crystal. I've had it for a long time and it really is quite amazing. So I'm gonna lift up my plate of little light crystals and see, oh, there goes one. So here they are. Now, it doesn't work out so good on this video, <laughs> this plate, but I will put an image, which will probably be the video image, the video thumbnail, with a picture of all these beautiful crystals. So the pitolite, and this is my, ah, dropped it. This is my personal tumbled stone, my palm stone that I like to carry with me. It's quite nice and it's actually, I didn't break it, it's actually a lot darker than the rough pieces because it's, uh, I put some essential oils on it. So here we go. Because crystal healing is all about vibration. It's all about vibration and frequency. So here's a rough Lepidolite, and here perhaps is a better example. You can see these really pretty, pretty flecks, and that's mica in this stone. Now, lepidolite is known for having a lot of lithium, which, as you may or may not know, is uh, great for depression. So the cool thing about lepidolite is... Um, it works very well with fuchsia and they do quite similar things. So if you have a tendency towards panic, panic attack, anxiety, or stress, you may want to consider working with fuchsia and lipidolite together. That being said, I have been working with lipidolite more lately to help me out with my grieving process. My dog, Kia, died last month, and yeah, last month, <laughs> and I went through a grieving process that I've never gone through before with a human being or animal, and it was very strange to me to go through it with a dog that I didn't really have for such a long period of time. Wow, intense stuff. So I carried the lipidolite with me to help me deal with the grief. And um, it's really helpful because it, it allows you to like let go of the stress and anxiety instead of like holding on to it. And I think that might be related to the mica in both fuchsia and lepidolite because they both have that and they both have the quality of allowing this letting go feeling. Which is sort of have to do with grief because uh, um, you really are in a state if you're not sure what to do so you kind of got to let go of everything you've been on accustomed to and begin anew. So it's a very beautiful process. Ah, the light. I like using the stones in a layout when I'm doing crystal healing. And I just place them around the body of the individual. I have certain places I like to put them depending on uh, the energy I'm sensing at the time I'm doing the healing. And you know, it really depends on the individual person and, and what they're going through and which crystals I even actually place but I do love to use lipidolite when a person is feeling stressed out ah it's just it's just so soothing and caring and it's got this divine love so it's beautiful lavender lavender <laughs> what am I doing and um, you may be aware of the violet flame if you've heard of the violet flame it really transmutes negative energy, which removes blockages and allows for letting go and new to come in. So it carries this ray, the lavender, the violet, in the stone. And it has a lot of the heart qualities associated with it, the divine love and self-acceptance, which is very important when you're dealing with depression, I think, because I think we can often be very hard on ourselves. At least I have been on myself when I've been in depressed states. Because let's face it, everybody gets in a bummed out state and they need a little help and not everybody wants to pop the pills. So 
we got to try different things. So um, maybe some lipidolite in addition to your exercise routine or, or maybe getting out for a walk if you don't have an exercise routine and eating healthy and taking care of yourself. So things to consider when working with lipidolite. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and if you want to learn any more about crystals or my awakening process, visit my website crystalempowerment.com. I've got a blog there going back to late 2014. It talks about a lot of the stuff I've been going through since my awakening in 2012. Check it out and I hope to see you again on my next video.